Hello and welcome back to another Reef Automation tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to program the WXM by Neptune Systems. The WXM will control Ecotech Marine MP1040 uh, and 60 pumps. It will also control Radeon Generation 1 through 4. So let's go through the basics of the WXM. So when you first get a WXM, you need to go to the module section and you will find the WXM and you need to click on the attach and hit the button up here. When you attach, you will then go to your pump and you'll go through the attachment uh, configuration, which is online. And once it's attached, it'll show up on the bottom here. Once it shows up, it'll become an outlet just like any other outlet. So, for instance, I have two radions. So here's my LED, my LED left and my LED right. I also have a number of wave pumps. Um, I have two MP40s and two MP10s, and they are located right here, we Reef Wave and LED. So we'll first go through the LED programming, which is pretty simple. Um, you'll see, what, depending on your generation of radion, you will see different sliders here at the bottom. Um, so, for instance, I have a generation four. So I can put in an interval here. I can add a point, adjust a point, remove a point. And if I go to adjust the point, at a certain time, I could put how much percent I want that uh, to be. So if I, at 9 o'clock I want it to be at 50%, I put 50%. And then I can come down here and I can select a specific preset that's already built into the Radeon. Or I can go down here and adjust whatever slider I want to the corresponding color channels. On the right here, you'll see that there is the storm and the lightning or the cloud cover. So what this does is it simulates cloud cover or light or a thunderstorm during that particular time. It's not randomized, so once you select this, it's going to do it pretty much the whole entire time. So if you wanted to add a storm or cloud cover, you'd have to put a point here and make it just specifically cloud cover for that period of time. And that's how you do the uh, Radeon. If you go up to the advanced here, you can adjust what you want it to do. Um, on feet on fallback, so I generally pick an off because if you lose communication, you don't want the radion to go to 100%. You can also add additional uh, settings here. You can add profiles. You can add specific things for feed modes and so forth in the advanced section of the LED. Um, this configuration is very similar to that of the 0 through 10 volt or the VDM, which I'm going to go over as well in this um, tutorial. So if we go back over here, I have moon lights as well, and they are plugged into my VDM port. And it's a very similar setting. All you do is at a specific time, you put a specific percentage. And that percentage is based off of 0 to 10 per, um, volt. So this is 9% of 0 per, uh, to 10 volts. This is 100%, so that would be 10 volts. And this is how you would do the VDM ports. Now the wave uh, is very similar, or sorry, the MP40s are very similar. You click on them and you click a time right here by adjustments. So you can remove it, adjust it, or add one to it. And then you pick the particular mode that you want the pump to be in. If you have multiple pumps, you can do an anti-sync or a sync or an eco back, which are at the bottom, which I'm going to show you next. And then you put the percentage at which you want that pump to be. So on my left front, is a sync from my right front. So for instance, if I push an anti-sync here, I can then pick which pump I want it to anti-sync from with depend upon if you have multiple pumps. So that's how you sync and anti-sync via the WXM. So again, that's how you program the WXM for Radeon or an MP40, 10, or 60. Also, there's the basics on a 0 to 10 volt dimmer for moonlights. So if you like the video, please hit the like button below. Uh, also subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions or concerns, just leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and have a great day.